Let's go to Yasmin Qureshi. Yasmin. Mr. Speaker, in February, I called for localised community-based vaccination centres, and I want to pay tribute to Dr. Helen Wall, Bolton CCG, NHS, and the volunteers for the rollout of the vaccine. Last week, my constituents were wrongfully accused of vaccine hesitancy, and then we had a quasi-lockdown that no one knew about, and many people's travel plans were thrown in chaos. My constituents can forgive the government for that, but I am sure that I speak for the country when I say that we cannot forgive tens of thousands of people who died and didn't need to die. The chilling words of Dominic coming. Will the Secretary of State tell me when will the Prime Minister and others be investigated by the police for alleged corporate manslaughter? And why did we not follow the example of New Zealand, where they managed to control it without a minimum of number of deaths? No, Mr Speaker. But the, uh, what I would say to the people of Bolton is that the people of Bolton have, again, risen to this challenge. The number of vaccinations happening in Bolton right now is phenomenal tens of thousands every single day. And it is, uh, it is heartening to see the queues of people coming forward, both for testing and for vaccinations in Bolton. This has not been an easy pandemic anywhere, but it's been especially difficult in Bolton. And I in particular want to pay tribute to the leadership of Bolton Council and Councillor David Greenall, who's done such a remarkable job in very difficult circumstances.